Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about SQL joins. Now, let's start off with a simple user table, user data table. And first of all, I would like to add a new column to this uh, to this uh, table. And this is the in this column, I'm going to give each user a country. And so that's the code. I'm just adding a new column called country and every user is getting a country. And let's run it. And that is okay. And then if I just call the table or call everybody again from, let me just write it right. And run it. So we have now every user's got a country. Now uh, we have another table called prime infos there are all our products let's just call all rows and so there are all our products and our products got a lot of infos like label like brand like kilocalories and so on but they also got country and now what i wish to do is basically join these two tables now there are multiple types of joins in sql but how do they work? Well, here's a simple um, overview of our tables. I've got here my users table and here is my prime infos table. And if I wish to join these two tables, I got to find a common ground or to put it, to put it, uh, to, to make it more concrete, I need a common column, which has got sort of the same type of content. So, with users, I've got username, gender, weight, and so on. I won't find any of that in here except country. Ditto for uh, prime infos. In, in it are all the product informations like kilocalories and so on, but I'm not going to find any username or gender or stuff like that, but I'm have country. And you always, when you join two tables, you always have to have some common ground or some common column. What I mean by common column well, it's got to be it's got to be a column with the same type of content, because uh, otherwise, you know, you, you can't possibly join these two tables. So the way the way you join them after joining them, the situation looks like this. These two tables are joined together. So Bob from France can now access all the products over here uh, associated with France. Ditto for Jane from Greece, ditto for, uh, for Pia from the United States. Each one can then access all the products they're joined with. In this case, because the join is uh, via the country uh, column, uh, each user can then access all the products associated with his country, his or her country. Right, so that's, that's sort of the theory behind it. And there are multiple types of joins. Uh, we're dealing, first of all, with the inner join. And the inner join means that uh, with, with, uh, with Bob from France, he's only going to see the French products. Jane from Greece is only going to see the Greek products. And Pia from the United States is only going to see the American products. And we only, from, from this product table, we're only going to see those products from France, Greece, and the United States. We're not going to see any products from Spain. We're not going to see any products from Germany. We're not going to see any other products except from France, Greece, and the United States. And the thing is that within a join, you have both, you know, you get sort of a, a combination of both tables, but you only get what they, what they have both in common. So basically, if one of those guys, of one of those guys' country is not represented in products, you are not going to be seeing the user. So let's say if there are no French products, you're not going to see Bob in that joint table because the, you only see what's common between both. And if you, are, if you are associated with a country which is not represented in products, you're not going to be in that common table. Ditto for products not in this uh, list. So, like I said before, you're not going to see any products from Spain because we don't have a user from Spain. You're not going to see any products from Germany because we don't have a user from Germany. So, uh, now, how do I build a join? Well, it's very simple. You just say, in this case, I, I need to build an inner join. So, I just say inner join. And then, what I need to say is now, okay, 
uh, now I've got to define through which columns does this join go. And like I said, like we said previously, we have the country column. So I can write from country equal to country. Now, typically that works fine. Just let me get the Excel table again. That works fine. However, because both columns are called country, hmm, it's not such a cool thing because uh, some SQL engines could have a problem with that because, you know, which country do you mean? From which table and which which one is this one from which table because they're called identically if that was called nation then you know you'd have no problem then you could say on nation equal to country but we don't both both uh, both are called the same so the way you um, handle this issue without any problems you just you just say uh, this is this is which which country is that well that one stemming from user data oops and that's the way you write it, uh, table name dot, and then the field name or column name. And here, this one comes from, oh yeah, and you see inner join, you have to say, <laughs> I forgot that, you have to say which table, inner join prime, prime infos. That's the name of the table we, with, we wish to join with. And that's how you write inner join. And now down here, we're defining the columns through which that join goes. And that goes from user data country to uh, prime infos prime infos dot country so now uh, SQL won't have any problem with that because it knows oh yeah that country comes from user data and that country comes from prime infos so so that's basically the way you create a, a join now this is an inner join now uh, if I run that once you run that you're gonna get different results in different engines for instance if I run that now, I'm going to get all the data from both tables, user data and prime infos. I know for a fact that if I run such a join on SQL Server, I'm only get, going to get the data from this table, from user data. I'm not going to get any, any data from prime infos. So, you know, you might get different results depending on your engine, but it, this also can be handled. I'm going to show you how. So let me run that and I'm going to get data from both tables. And there you go. And now you see Bob is repeated so often because there's so many French products. And you see not only Bob, but everything about Bob, his gender, his weight, his height, everything about Bob and his country, obviously, everything about Bob is being repeated as often as their products. Okay. And now if you wish, and then the same thing would happen with the other users down here. If you wish to see only the data from user data, you just say, you just put it like this user data dot star so now what I'm saying is that I wish to see everything from user data but nothing from from the table prime infos and if I run that then we get our users albeit as repeated as often as they have products associated with their own with their country so if I need to see each user you know just once I just go distinct and then I would see that user and now you see remember we had if i go back to my excel I just put it here we had three users but i'm not seeing i'm just seeing two why because jane jane from greece does not appear here because apparently there are no products from greece in prime infos that's why jane does not appear here so that's that's one of the effects of inner joints and uh, the same thing is with countries. If I need to see which countries are now in that uh, joint table, I can do it very simply in that I'd say uh, prime infos dot country. And you're gonna see, we're only gonna have two countries and that's France and United States, you see? And uh, that also explains why I'm not going to be seeing any, uh, any, any, anything of Jane because there are no Greek products. There's only France, United States. But you see also, uh, I know for a fact there are products from Germany, from Spain and so on in, 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 in the table prime infos. But only these appear in that join because my users come from Greece, from France, and from the United States. And Greece does not have any products represented in it, in, in the table prime infos, and hence I only get France and the United States. 
So that's the effect of um, of, um, of of inner joints. And obviously, if I need to see all data from countries but nothing from users, same same sort of scenario. I just say prime infos dot star, and I would get all the products from uh, all the all the data from the products um, uh, table. And now remember, I'm only getting the products from France, United States, nothing more. I'm not getting any other products. Okay, that's the effect of the inner joint. Right. So um, the video's gone long enough. Uh, let me end it here. And in the next video, I'm going to explain the other types of joints.